we have a tendency to think we have communicated. And that, according to him, is the biggest problem. Now, you may think, no, that can't be possible. But I have a story. My wife and I were in Scotland at Christmas time, and we're sitting at breakfast one day, and my wife says, remind me that I want to get crackers. So being a dutiful husband, I started thinking, where can we go to get crackers? I looked at, I thought, various stores. So we started going into one store, another store, another store. And she was getting a little agitated. And eventually she says, what are we doing in this store? And I said, we're looking for crackers. She said, they don't sell crackers in this store. And I said, yeah, this is where you get crackers that are left over from Christmas. <laughs> and then suddenly I realized that I was looking for that British novelty Christmas crackers when, in fact, all she wanted was some crackers. <laughs> and that shows you, despite knowing someone very well, loving them, we can still have the illusion that communication has taken part.